looking to buy an SBE masterpiece in the Warfall country state? Good afternoon. This is Xavier with Luxury Homes Johannesburg. Today, we are back in my favorite lifestyle estate together with listing agent Marusha from Luxliff Property Group. Now, as you can see behind us, you're in for a treat today. So, without further ado, specs of the house. This is a five bedroom, five and a half bathroom, four garage home. Marusha, let's get started. Thank you very much. Well, look, I can safely say that pretty much every time I'm showcasing an SB house, I absolutely love it. And I really love this one. It is built with Feng Shui principles in mind. So behind you, Xavier, or right in front of me, is this um, privacy wall that also serves as the water feature. It displays gorgeous vegetation. It gives you the beautiful sound of the water, so which is very much Feng Shui. And at the same time, it screens us off the street. And we need a little bit of screening because we have this massive floor to ceiling glass entrance that invites us into the house and shows us what is to come. And the house is very generous in proportions. We are obviously in the double volume entrance, but you can also see that we have an exceptionally wide walkway into the space. I love the fact that they've done the stairs also very generous. They're very deep stairs and they have the strip lights running the entire length of the staircase. And speaking of generosity, the tiles as well, they're massive. It's over a meter and I would say a meter of 20 or 50 in width and everything going forward then continues with those uh, big proportions. Right above us, stunning chandeliers. And because it is a double volume entrance, you know, they've opted for those very long cylindrical shaped chandeliers. I love how they, they, they feel light, even though they're quite massive. And then we step into further into the entrance, I would say, and this is the piano room. They've created an entire piano room and they've also showcased it with um, this wood cladding behind on the one side. And we've got the stucco wall on the other side. So this one is textured. It's not, um, it's not the smooth finish. We have that entire wall also running the length of the entrance hall. Very interesting textures. From there, welcoming us into the open plan living spaces, one of many, but I imagine this is where you'll be spending all of your time. And they've done this interleading lounge, dining and kitchen but with a huge emphasis on the kitchen. And I think the kitchen is an absolute masterpiece. It's blue line kitchens, and they've basically thrown in everything here. This is top of the range. We have plenty of space here for the, the breakfast nook or breakfast table. You have a three level countertop in actual fact, and as well as a three different finishes of your countertop stone. So you've also got this massive space here where you can do your cooking. You have your pop-ups, plugs, and then the entire length of the central island you have on the one side as well with additional storage. All of it soft clothes, soft touch, and all of it again bringing in different textures. So we have the matte, we have the stone effect, Caesar stone, and then we have the touch of wood with a bit of the tinted uh, smoky mirror effect just here and there, just to bring some sparkle out. What do you think so far? Oh, I think this is probably one of the most impressive blue line kitchens we've seen, just because it is so big and it takes up probably two full rooms, but obviously a house of this caliber. Look at this, I mean, just the cupboard space, all the, I mean, this is, open your arms for a second, see how wide this is. I mean, this is one side. <laughs> one side only. Floating uh, drawers here. Those are very deep drawers, so plenty of space. Right next to you, there's also additional drawers that are uh, coming straight up from the ground. And this is, uh, serves also as a seating area. So they've used a ton of Caesar stone here. And so uh, you have the waterfall Caesar stone as well but storage as well as the, the look. It's everything is very slick, very beautiful, top of the range, and all your bits and bobs get hidden away in the plentiful drawers. 
Of course, Mille appliances. I can't imagine anything else with uh, the top of the range kitchen like this. So you have a coffee machine. You have a warmer drawer under the coffee machine. That's just for your coffee cups. You have a steamer, another warmer drawer. You have a microwave, another warmer drawer. And we have an oven. So cooking, entertaining. And then of course we have an induction stove top. Also Mille, and then we have an extractor fan, which if I was maybe to use it properly, just the touch of a button, a little bit of firm touch, it turns out and pops up. What I also like here is if you notice the ceiling, they've recessed the ceiling a little bit. There's built-in um, air conditioning. Let's just go down. You see, touch of a button. So recess ceiling with built-in air conditioning and strip lights as well as LED lights going all the way around. So it's a very nice warm effect, but it's also very bright. They've done this extra large black sink on the side and we have the pop-up plugs on both ends because we're talking about how many meters are we talking? I actually want to measure this because I think it's incredible. seven meter in length guys this is really incredible and from there it runs into a dining room and into your lounge area so all your guests will always be part of the fun look at the continuation that we have from the kitchen Marusha. so here we have that set up and actually runs all the way through yeah so they've built this uh, stunning drawers that um, are sitting under the TV. The TV is also suspended against the wall. This is all the same design as your kitchen, but here they've inverted the colors a little bit. So darker gray top, and then the drawers are in white. So really very, very nice choice of colors and finishes and super modern. Of course, you need a feature wall. We are now in the lounge area. So the feature wall they've chosen here is almost like a copper effect but you again have those uh, tones of gray in it, but the copper just softens it. So brings in the warm tones because once you are standing also in your dining room, you can see you've got the warm copper looking tones uh, that are brought in with your chandelier that is suspended above you. You've got the soft yellow tones of the lights, the pendants that are suspended above your massive countertop. And then the same tones of gold are brought in with those strips of gold that are along the wall. So really the designer and the architect have thought of everything to make the space very homely. We've now stepped out into the patio area and it is great that it's an enclosed patio. We've opened all the doors, but you can imagine winter time, you can just close these doors and this patio becomes a second huge lounge area for you, lounge and dining, in fact, two dining rooms if we'll hope for the price of one and um, you can of course keep just your lounge area closed and then this is open for summertime we're now out in the garden and you can hear the water i love this water feature both sides of the house have the water feature the the, the white noise of the water is really soothing we have a very generous swimming pool and we're standing now on composite decking so the composite decking, I'm told, lasts about 25 years, or at least is warranted for that. So you don't have to sand, you don't have to do any form of uh, maintenance on it. So very easy maintenance. And we also have quite a lot of garden space here as well. Truly really stunning. I think as the sun starts setting here, guys, I think this becomes more and more of an impressive feature. Because look at that corner, the down lights you have from that side. Can you only imagine what the bedrooms upstairs must look like? Everything is very generously proportioned. And you can see it from the fact that on your patio alone, you can have two dining room tables of about 14 seater plus a lounge suite. What they've done here is they've also run the same Caesar stone countertops here with plenty of storage here as well. And I like that when the patio has a lot of storage because you're not carrying dishes across. Everything can stay here. There is a braai. They've done a touch of rougher stone here because it is a braai, I think it's suitable. And then let's head back in. 
And just to point out, the flooring is the same throughout. So the patio inside, and it's a non-slip. So very, very easy to walk on, but it has a little bit of a texture and it's that, a touch of the stone look. So right towards this way is the fifth bedroom. This is the guest bedroom. It starts off with a study area, cleverly positioned just off the kitchen, because often you find, especially when you have smaller kids, you have to supervise them. So whilst you're in the kitchen preparing dinner, you can make sure that the kids are doing what they're meant to be doing. Look at the size of this bedroom, and this is the guest bedroom. King size bed, a ton of space for a lounge area as well. And of course it has a full bathroom and a walk-in closet. There's air conditioning throughout the house. There's underfloor heating throughout the house. I think now is the right time to point it out. Top of the range bathrooms as well. Backlit mirror. You have a massive shower here, rain shower. And very cleverly the bath is situated inside the shower. And then look at this massive walk-in closet. This is just for your fifth bedroom. Goodness, look at that. I love these down lights as well. How nicely presented is this? Look at this, guys. Notice there's American shutters everywhere as well. So it's a very nice, clean, minimalist look. But of course, if you want to bring in your interior decorator, you can go wild. There's a lot of space to go wild as well. Back into my favorite room. And just one last look at uh, the kitchen. Before we go upstairs, but we'll come back. And of course, around the corner, there is a scullery as well. And over and above the scullery, we have a ton of storage in this house. Just a quick note of this. Look at how they've designed this. Uh, it's almost like a privacy screen because it is pretty much facing the entrance. So just to add this extra privacy for people walking into the space, they've, uh, they've done this um, vertical poles. Again, to accentuate the height of the ceilings and the height of uh, the, the, the volume in the rooms. Now, before we head upstairs, there's two surprises. So first of all, <laughs> are you surprised? There's a lot of surprises in this house. There's a lot of space. So let's just quickly have a look at some service rooms. What we have here tucked away, nice and private, is a massive storage room. What this would serve for is your suitcases, because of course, if you're on a house like this, you're traveling, I'm sure. So you can put your suitcases, your coats, your uh, anything that you want to store, or you can create an entire laundry room there. Then tucked away private uh, guest toilet. And you want to impress your guests. So you have gold finishes. You have stunning feature wall here with uh, this gold mosaic effect all of the toilets you'll notice are top of the range once again and they're all floating and they i believe they also come with a uh, very special uh, germ free seltzer cleaning yes stuff. okay one more step further down just to go back to the garages people often ask for the garages not only do we have four garages here but we also, what they've created, because of that volume that uh, I mentioned with the height of the ceilings, what they've created in both garages, this is two of the four, is loft rooms. This specific loft room uh, houses the batteries and the solar installation. But if you just look at the size of that room, basically it is the size of the garage and you have the identical feature across on the other side as well. It's interesting, it, it actually gives me a bit of a Scandinavian feel, I could be wrong, but uh, with the wood and uh, uh, the, the steel bars, and you just can tuck everything away and you can keep your house looking very clean, very neat and minimalist. But at the same time, if you have teenagers or just naughty children, they can hide up there and you'll never know where they are. They will be as quiet as mice, mouses, mice. <laughs> Okay, now for the surprise, because we're not finished downstairs. Absolutely gorgeous cinema room. Soundproof, 
you can already hear, I think, when once you're inside, that it is beautifully insulated. They've done this nice starry effect. Starry, starry night. Starry, starry night ceiling. They've uh, put six chairs already here. You can very comfortably put at least three more. So this could be comfortably a nine seater. And then you've got your movie theater right here. Very nice. This is massive. I love it. This would be my favorite spot, to be honest. I love my movies. What can I say? And I love the fact that it is on the ground floor, actually, because again, easy access to the kitchen, the popcorn and everything that goes with it. So far. So far? What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Well, my thoughts? Well, SBE masterpiece, without a doubt. I mean, you could see on the architectural design on coming in just from the street level and even walking in to just huge spaces. Generous as well. Generous as well. Generous staircase as well. We have massive tiles. It, it almost feels like the entire stair is made of one solid piece of tile. That is not the case, but it just looks that way because it is beautifully crafted. We have the glass and just the wood. Not only does it hold it nice and tight, but at the same time, again, it softens the look. Floating staircase. And I love the fact that all these plants underneath are thriving. So that means a lot of natural light comes in. We have the floor to ceiling glass again on the one side or almost to ceiling. And we have the same chandelier suspended above us here pendant, similar to the entrance hall. And now we up into the top level. So we've already seen one bedroom. We're going to see four more bedrooms here. And now that we're upstairs, you can already see, again, the generous proportions of the pajama lounge. And we'll go through it now and we'll take a look at it in a lot more detail. But first, let's look at what is currently the study. But I would imagine gym room, study, combination. I personally will make it a combination. So when work becomes too stressful, a couple of lifts, you know, the weights and whatever. And um, you've got both, also the best of both worlds. It's a big enough room, is my point, that you can actually house both. And this room also has access to the most magnificent balcony. Wanna point it out, a huge balcony again, but everything in this house is very, very big. And uh, this balcony, because we are quite high, I mentioned high ceilings, this house is also on an elevated stand. We are literally looking above the rooftops and we're looking at the entire expanse of waterfall. How beautiful is that? Very impressive. That's not a sight we get to see very often. We have a green belt right next to us. We're looking at the sunset as we speak. So really beautiful space. And of course, if we are to utilize this room as a part of gym, then this could be your morning yoga session, you know, welcoming the sun and such like. Well said. From someone who never does yoga, I usually quite enjoy rooms that can be converted. <laughs> All right. And let's, before we head into the pajama lounge, I just want to point out how much thought has gone into also building those balustrades. So we have the double volume or even triple volume, should I say, but your balustrades are also exceptionally high here. So they're super safe. I know people often worry with glass and with small children, especially children that are over adventurous. Here, this is, I would say what, well above 1.2. Nicely done. Kitchenette space here. Imagine putting a small fridge, bar fridge here. And uh, yeah, you can have your drinks. You can have uh, some more storage. And then we are in this very, very big pajama lounge that has its own balcony on the other side. So the same size balcony, this one is looking out onto the, uh, onto the garden behind the house. So you have natural light coming from both sides. And they've also dropped the ceiling a bit here. They've also built the air conditioning into the ceiling and then additional lights. So very nice, soft effect, but it's a bright space. 
Stunning. I think the open spaces that you've mentioned a few times lend themselves with the natural light to big open spaces. You never have the idea or the impression that this is tight or small whatsoever. Not at all. Another feature wall here, very nice wallpaper they've chosen. And then we can head towards the main bedroom. Plenty of storage. It starts already from the entrance. You have quite a lot of uh, storage here to the right with the sliding doors, so it doesn't take any space. The room itself also big enough to give you a bed and space for a lounge. And then we again have the American shutters that we've seen throughout all of the other rooms. And of course, full on suite and its own walk-in closet. This room is pretty much the size of uh, the guest bedroom downstairs. So you pretty much had two main bedrooms. This is gorgeous. Look at the shower. It's really great that they've used the black uh, frames for the shower and the black and white Victorian Albert bath. And then the black is also carried over into your towel rails. Really stunning. Black and white. Loving it. And then here, it's dramatic for, for a main bedroom. I think it works beautifully. Look at the under light. Of course, so you can see your beautiful shoes. Those are cupboards specifically designed for a ton of shoes. Though one can never have too many. This is gorgeous, Marisha. Look at the size of this thing. Very, very nice. I'm pressed. Peaceful. Yes, then. Very zen. Very nice, solid. I mean, when, when you look at the, the door frames, you can see everything was built uh, probably double brick. You know, people look, but that those are internal walls. So it just shows that the house was built very solid. We're now stepping into one of the uh, bedrooms. And it's an empty room, but I just want to point out a queen size bed, very comfortably, as well as space for a desk. And then this one looks out onto the back garden as well. Also has the built-in aircon and the cupboards and of course on suite. One more. This is Bedroom number four that we have seen. I think everyone would fight over this one because this bedroom has the same balcony as the study slash gym area. So a teenager bedroom, you have plenty of space there for a desk as well as a ton of cupboard space. This is a king size bed and they had the kids bed here when they were staying over. So a huge room again and this stunning balcony that is private from the study balcony but it also benefits from the same gorgeous view i like the setup very very nice because you can nicely sit on this side and look at the sun as we're sitting here wow stunning there you have it nice crisp winter's day and they've done some stone cladding here. Of course, if uh, you live here, you would put a lot of pot plants. You will uh, make the space a lot more interesting and um, maybe use your interior decorator. But the, the bones and the structure of this house lends itself to really amazing deco. And of course, an ensuite. Absolutely, all of the bedrooms are ensuite. One more. This would be the fifth one. Another peek down because the sun is starting to set and it's starting to get really nice with all the lights. I can't wait to go downstairs to the Blue Line kitchen again and see the entertainment area. En suite as well. And also with a queen size bed size. So five bedrooms of which three are the size of a main bedroom. Very impressive. Massive. Once again, high ceilings. This is... Very nice. 
Marusha. One, two, three, four upstairs, one downstairs, a cinema. Am I forgetting something? We got the side study on the one side. We have the study and gym. And the gym. Four upstairs, all en suite, humongous pajama lounge, humongous study or gym, or a combination of both. And then a kitchenette area. And then downstairs, we can head back. But it, I think it's probably got one of the best kitchens I've ever seen. And that is not easy to, to beat, you know, because I do see a lot of kitchens, but this one was uh, done uh, with uh, thinking of people who love cooking and love entertaining and love big families. Stunning family room, living spaces. It's great that the ceilings are not just one solid ceiling, that you have the recessed ceilings as well. It's a calm space. Oh, nice. Like you mentioned, the recessed, it actually you can see the compartmentalization that is happening here. You have the one side, one section, dropped ceilings. We've got the dining room, dropped ceilings right here. And guess what? Even though this is one huge open space, it actually shows where each individual space is. And I think it's such a nice touch from the architects to be able to pull it off and, and look at this once again. Notice the bar fridge there. Nice. Still full. Yes, not after tonight. And the stunning patio area. The entire patio is a north facing, so you will have really a nice warm patio during winter time and cool summer time. Yes. Marusha, this is probably one of the better properties, I must say, that we've seen in Waterfall. That's my personal opinion. I know you've seen a lot more than I have, but I can't get enough of this section right here. That is a massive kitchen. There we go. So let's have another peek at the pool. Guys, what do you think? Where does this one stack up relative to the other ones we've done in the past? As always, any questions on this estate or any other estate that Marusha and myself are active in? Copperleaf, Stain City, Blair Atoll, Waterfall, Equestrian Waterfall, Country Village. Make sure to reach out, we can help you. If you'd like to have a tour done like this, make sure to reach out to Borussia or myself. One final look. As always, any questions you have, viewing requests, Borussia's details are below. Have an awesome, awesome afternoon.